Hi everybody, it's Anibon Nani. Welcome to my channel. Kamala Mingunta and Omleche. And on this channel, says Funde I ngwati palongo limlo itulo isi zulbe se sizara si zokulu manga zule ngwati suesi fundi le sante la lava pela basuwe bengi na sikatso kuti ba fundi ngwati na lava basuwe bengi na njoo funda si ya pinda futi si bure ama reality shows e tu alaim zanti besi sizara zokulu manga ola ma shows sente ama reviews o ama recaps besi si ya pinda futi zokulu manga any other issues avuga yomanga bela ma shows se siwa bogi le gu tv. Umanga bogo kalo show ena namtlanje ni really like our content. Don't forget to go to press and subscribe by tin lange zanti. Bese o pindu tindi zela. In notification bell, it do zoga subscribe ugoza pela u tolu mya lezo. Umanga abe umsebenzi omosha se si u fagile. Namtlanje na ke si zogwenza i review ye twice as twice as as a bold episode that lale last night. Eh, um, have episode here. It all ama twins. I guess uh, it business lab. It's going well, lately. The gym they're getting new clients and the client here, but I'm Sanje or Doctor Malinga, which I found funny anyway. Doctor Malinga also gym a lot. I'm twins, but uba phone lele and uh and i thought they just did that for fun honestly because each me are gonna be you know <laughs> i actually posted a, a video as a shot uh, last night showing him go to bed but they are explaining like uh, Dr. Malinga is actually their friend and it's one of the people who were there for them. He helped them a lot. They don't say financially or he was just an emotional support. Uh, but yeah, they also start talking about their business and uh, the fact that they want to do a boot camp. And uh, Dr. Malinga Ngati has some entertainment space and is offering to give them a venue, which I assume what is going to be for free so that they can do the boot camp. They say it boot camp, yeah, but they intend for it to be for women only because they find what's it. Abandu best list that they come with, not really the intention to train, but with other intentions. So bafun guti kuba abandu ba focused, so they prefer guti kuba abandu be best fazane. He 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 all uh, he seemed uh, um, supportive to them about that idea. Like I said, he offered in the Bay venue, so it looks like the 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 boot camp would be uh, would be taking place. Okay. And then the second scene, it was their brother Uspiwe. I guess they wanted to show us a little bit more of his life. Ulokuzana, uputwabo. Uto na bantu ano, so na bantu na bau six. He he looks very young though. Uto na bantu na bau six, and it was uh, he was with two of his sons, and training them. Uh, with football or soccer, a uh, gym and Jake grounding, which I thought was nice for a father to do. It says good. It's very important for him to uh, teach them how to. Uh, good. Baba ganja ni amato. Then I know good. Banga balegel. Ama responsibilities. Abo. Uh, and then he talks about uh, the fact that good ne sibling ya bo that he's not able to see because of mawaba gavumu guti ababone. I was really interested to know more about that situation because how does it get to a point where you are not able to see uh, your children? Uh, but anyway, he talks to them about that and the fact that ye na ubabwa ke had kids all over and he they never got to meet all of them so he doesn't want them to go through that so he's still trying to fight to go to abone inga nyake and uh, it's like koko who is his mother has helped him uh through that journey but begunga galungu kutakwa zikutaba born so it was good to see uh other cast members away from just the twins you know and then uh, and then the third uh, scene, it was the twins. I guess they're talking about now the events, the details of the events, which is the boot camp plays or when they Gamalinga. They're talking about uh, okay, in the Bagusu Malinga, yes, still a venue that's available for them to use. They want to organize a t shirt so that everybody that comes uh, is wearing something that has their brand. Uh, on it and I was surprised that when they were talking about how much people are going to pay Gule event Lena they say you see they are thinking of 450 to 500 run uh, yet they were talking about 
Ogotabantu, they will be having a breakfast and they will have uh, gifts, uh, baskets there and t-shirts and i'm like that is just that should not be <laughs> i would expect maybe like a thousand rands or 1.5 at least like 450 if it was just a boot camp where you're not offering any food you're not offering any gifts uh, then maybe 500 rand yes you know also depending on how long the boot camp is so i thought because they are short uh paying themselves to say a boot camp is 450 per person when they say what they're going to be offering so much so i was like they're not gonna make any money here and so they're saying they're gonna be calling on on some of their friends they seem to know a lot of uh people that have money and that have that are famous and uh, to call in some favors here and there and they say they need to meet with Utulu, uh, discussing some business with her. Remember, Utulu was one, it's one of their clients, but also Omutoba Mentori Shai when it comes to business. And um, and they say they're owing her a session as well. Ngati she had uh, uh, paid for a session up front. And then later on, one twin is saying she's going to go and, and, and pick up uh, the kids. So it's in yes, forget it was them going to the sister-in-law's house. It, it, it's interesting to see a, a relationship we have with their sister-in-law. Today, I got the feeling it was, and they don't really like their sister-in-law, but at the same time, they do use her a little bit. Um, I wouldn't be, be able to be in a relationship like that, being a sister-in-law. Um, because, uh, okay, let me just explain what happened. And remember, because they had that explosive argument uh, with her about her talking to the kids about a lifestyle. Uh, yeah, yeah, bo, the twins, which they were upset about that. Which why was she talking about that with the kids? And how I felt like the whole conversation was disrespectful, especially because it was at their sister-in-law's house. Today, they coming to ask her um, for uh, Indabaguzi Eze for Ilokuzana, a family reunion. Uh, honestly, you guys, I don't know how these family reunions uh, work because they are inviting their sister-in-law, but it's their family re reunion with their family uh the mother's side uh <laughs> i don't know like that, those are the two different uh families to me for an example if I, we had to have a family reunion in my family there is my mother's side abandubago malume there's you know if we're doing it with abandubago malume there's enough people to do their own reunion there and then there is abandu basekaya uh, you know there's abandu and then there's you know if i wanted to do something with my in-laws. I can't imagine combining my in-laws with Abantu Bagam Leje, with Abantu Bagam Alum, and saying that's a family reunion. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I find it fine because I thought it was just going to be Mona, ne, 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 no, no, ma, no, ma, ba, or maybe Kekube Yibo, ne, ngane, zaba, zoba, ba, ba, bo, you know, maybe no, ma, ba, zo. You know, I don't understand how sister-in-law comes in, but they want to sister-in-law there. So they want her to come. I think it was about Caesar with cooking or whatever, but they need favors from her, which made me feel like they're using her. <laughs> like they need her to come so that they can ask for these favors that they want. And apparently she's a good cook, so she will be cooking on the day. And then uh, uh, they were asking about Ingane, Zomienwabo. And they don't know whether they should move ahead and invite them. And she, and sister in law goes on to explain to them because you know she thinks that uh, the pain is still new, so uh, it, it won't work. But she was going on to explain because why does she feel that way? And then when they like, ah, no, 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 we don't need the preaching, they didn't want to listen to her basically. And I feel like they're always like that when it comes to uh, Loas is Loana. I don't know why she puts up with it, honestly. I don't know why she puts up with it. I feel like Abam, Abam Nigi respects and she just as Umundu, Obasizayo, even uh, with the kids because it looks like she helps a lot with the kids as well. But they they always have an attitude, maybe in a conversation with her, even when they need help from me. I do not understand why it's like that. So anyway... 
Uh, but she agrees with she's going to be there. I guess you have to understand that you know, she has dealt with them for the long time. So maybe it's not a big issue that they're speaking to her like that. But I just didn't uh, understand it, honestly. So then um, the, the next thing, it was the twins. They're calling somebody called uh, Soweto Mahlazi, who is... My understanding is he is their ghost writer. They are writing a book, but not really. You know, the, someone else is writing a book for them. You know, so they're having a, a ghost writer. They're talking about how far the book is. He just goes on and on explaining about how exciting it is that they're sharing their lives, how the readers are going to be excited to read about their life. But the bottom thing here is that the twins are writing a, a book about their lives, but they don't, they won't actually write it themselves. So someone else is helping them. They're talking about, I guess the, the, this person is in, in, in Devon and uh, Uguzi, he needs to come to Jobek so that they can array, they can, a catch up and also uh, make arrangements for a launch party because they do want a launch party to be uh, in in Jobek. and and then the next uh, last scene, next scene which was the last scene uh, it's a scene with Mabato. Apparently Mabato they last saw her when we last saw them with her. Sometimes it makes me feel like maybe they're not really friends with Mabato that much. It's, they're not as best friends as we think because if the last time they saw her was when they were shooting that last scene year party and then they were supposed to go on a date, they never saw her on the date because the guy never came with her and then they never saw each other. I think the twins are actually each other's friends. They actually don't have any other friends. Babang and Bonabo too. But I think because of the show, they had to have other people on the show. So they had to get somebody that is sort of their friend, but not really to pretend as if this is somebody that is their best friend. It just feels like they don't spend a lot of time with this girl. But yet they're saying that uh, it's it's uh, she is their best friend. It doesn't feel to me that they spend that much time. Anyway, they, they are still upset about the dates because they feel like uh, she did not tell the truth when she said, would see the guy got into an accident you know and she tries to explain us no she, the guy really did get into an accident and they're like no did she, did he get into an accident or he got scared and he just uh, didn't come you know but yeah they ended up making uh, making up and um they have drinks there and my boss tells them because Bakul Mangago said they haven't seen her in a while. We are sure to cut the essay a business in those amalgos. Honestly, guys, this thing, yeah, I, I'm still trying to understand why everybody now who say no more, yeah, everybody now has a gift, everybody now we are twice, everyone is saying, oh, my uncle Sam Sasa Savele. Everybody, like everybody, everybody is like gifted, like for real, real, like Gapella, 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 like that's the running is on Gomez South Africa. Anyway, that's not even into a moya that some journey that she was going through, and yeah, anyway, they talk about that. So, I said she said she really shared the gifts because she's had some dreams about who put on Genyo, Gawa Pupamans. You know, I must pay attention to my dreams. Maybe now, you know, I must go go to us. Pupinyoga. Putting Zanda with Pupinyoga. Pupinyoga and the Pupamans. Pupinyoga, Pupamans. So decided she has a gift. So they ask her what to get. Well, I'm testing. I got to give Techia Sabenza in and they ask her what's her name. And she says, uh, honestly, not now. I don't know if she was using her gifts or this is just a friend advising a friend, you know. She says, not now, you guys. You guys are ju uh, just out of a marriage, out of a relationship. There's a lot of scars to heal. Just take some time and heal. In daughters of figure, but just not now. I just thought that is not a gift. I could have told them that myself. And as long as I'm going to honestly, I think they just need to chill when it comes to the daughter parts you know it's gonna come uh when it comes anyway uh anyway by the end of the day end of the uh outing everything is ironed out they're not upset with her anymore and uh yeah they're just going to uh move on we did not see that guy from last week uh that they went on a date with lord Jima, you like them uh but 
next week's episode we're going to see him and it looks like they're going to be dumping the guy <laughs> and i honestly feel like they will be dumping him for one reason and one reason only and that is because the guy doesn't have as much money as they want because they're looking for somebody with money which i mean they have a right to anyway anyway you guys that that is the episode uh, for today we didn't see their mom i like scenes with their mom honestly because i think uh if anything, this show has helped them to repair that relationship with their mom. So I like seeing it. But other than that, um, yeah, that was the episode for today. Guys, anyway, tell me what you think about it in the uh, comment section below. I know a lot of people are not very excited about this uh, this show. I read one article when they, talk, they were talking about how much... Uh, negativity they have received from people since they did the show and but and they, but now all they tried to do while shooting the show was be honest they showed their life that is how they lived they understand that it's not what people are used to but it's the honest truth for them that's how they live if they're going to date somebody they're going to date one person and but they said that they've received a lot of negativity which i honestly think that it's not it's not fair i do think it's different and it raises eyebrows i do think that but I don't feel like if Abandube Pilimpilo that we don't live or that we don't understand that it gives us a right to which is by insult in any way. So, but there is a part of uh, doing a reality show. You don't know how it's going to go and you don't know how people are going to receive it. But yeah, they do say that, you know, in, in doing the show, they've received a lot of backlash. But they do so say as well that, you know, you'll be surprised at how many celebrities have approached them wanting to date them because everybody knows now that they come as a package. So I don't know, maybe in the next seasons we'll be seeing them dating some celebrities. Anyway, you guys, that was episode for today. Please tell me what you think about this reality show in the comment section below uh like the video before nipu megiona share it with your friends with your family and even with strangers